Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Pisceans and it's for March, Elber onwards 2024. My dear Pisces, I hope you'll enjoy this reading. This is all about everything you need to know. Every important aspect of your life uh, or maybe, you know, like 90% of aspect of your life will be talked about, uh, dealt with here and every information that's needed to know will be coming to you in this reading. Starting with the first one, which shows the Trinka 5. This is all about manifesting money and income manifesting money and income if you've been seeing five 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 this is all about manifesting money and income but this is according to this uh this deck but according to me ancient wisdom i feel like this is connected to someone that um is born on the fifth of the month five is uh, very important someone that's their birthday is on the fifth very important number one it could be someone that their birthday is on the 15th uh, it could be dealing with someone that is um, something big, transformations taking place in this year, the year of the dragon. I also feel like you are going to be transcending your income. Money is transcending to higher levels at the same time. But this could be also in regard to relationships. It could be in regard to anything that is connected to number five. Um, okay, now um, I'm going to take two important messages from this deck. All Pisces, starting with the first one, and then the second one. All Pisces for March. Okay, my dear, there it is. The truth. Okay, very important. The truth. This is what this is all about. I know you're seeing a boat and a dragonfly, and you're thinking, what truth? <laughs> this is all about the truth. This is about the Ace of Swords, and the boat represents getting what you need. You've got to be very truthful with yourself and realistic and to the point of what you truly want maybe um you have been with all due respect deluding yourself my dear Pisces, and thinking um i can change the situation i can make it better but there is one certain factor that is being brought to my attention here which is all about the truth it's like you're not seeing the reality of the matter and it looks to me like the dragonfly spirit is a very powerful spirit in regard to bringing on imposing right it's really really deep this this one for these two to unite in a reading the dragonfly and the boat it shows to me that you are going to be enforced somewhat with the changes that are happening around you to be truthful with yourself. Very important to be honest with yourself. All the changes are showing that you are going to be ending a chapter and starting a new chapter. And that new chapter that you will start is all about the truth, being truthful to yourself and how you want to live, how you truly want to live and not be uh, disrupted with situations around you. So a new beginning that brings you truth and finally chasing what you want or what you need. And the dragon spirit is about you removing the curtain. That's, you know, that we call it curtain or delusion that you might think that I want this. I can change this. I can make it better. There is something coming to an end and then a new beginning an ending, a new beginning based on the truth. The reason being the truth. Okay, let's uh, before I take on two important messages for all Pisceans. I'll just stop here and have a look at the messages we have here. The first one says guilt, feeling guilty. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at the second one, guilt and renewal. Ah, there's the renewal that I'm talking about, the new beginning, the renewal that's coming in your life, a new lease of life, a new way of life. Feeling guilty. Mm, let's have a look at further. Okay, we've got one and two. Let me just have a look at these cards with my glasses on so I can see what is in this situation of guilt. Feeling guilty, chained, mm, and then someone becoming codependent or addicted. Okay, it looks to me um, I'm going through a dark night of the soul. Nothing in my life is making sense. This is about addiction to something. Addiction to what? A woman. A feminine energy. You or the current. Okay, a person you know, girlfriend, fiancé, spouse, love interest. Feminine energy. Exactly what I said. Feminine energy. I feel like 
And we've got the letter A here as a clue. A for Apple, for Antarctica. Just to give you a clue. It shows to me that you are feeling guilty in relation to a feminine energy. A, a girlfriend or a spouse or a fiancé. Uh, I feel like some of you could be really going through feeling guilty for not being realistic not being realistic and not being truthful with your true feelings of what you want maybe you want to let go of this uh, maybe you are so confused you want this feminine energy you want this person and then there's another part of you that is feeling guilty because maybe you won't be able to be sincere with this person feeling guilty maybe you have addictions that are hidden there's addiction someone with addiction there there's somebody chained also here codependency codependency guilty about some sort of addiction that you might have it could be addiction to drinking too much eating too much some sort of addiction that is hidden it's hidden and you look like an angel like it looks like you know this person is an angel but i feel like there's an addiction there and i feel like this is all about yourself my dear pisces this is about you coming to terms um being you know realistic about the truth the truth of who you are how you want to live so that you will remove the guilt you are going through a lot of pain I, I guess maybe you really care about someone going through the dark night of the soul that just shows that you might be going through dealing with your shadows and trying to work out what it is inside you that you want to release and and you're feeling guilty you can't release it maybe due to someone that you really care about but this is all about renewal. Renewal is coming in your life, a new lease of life where you will be transcending where you are now and living by the means that you want, being free. You want to be free. You don't want to be tied down, that's for sure. I guess you're feeling guilty because you don't want to be chained. You don't want to be chained. You don't want to be... Um, you don't want to be... You're feeling guilty because you don't want to be chained to someone maybe you like someone so much but you've got to let them go because you want to be honest with yourself and there's a certain way that you want to live you want your freedom but you're feeling guilty about this person this person someone you cared about someone who really loves you this could be a situation where that's why you're going through the um you know through the dark night of the soul really soul searching and thinking what happens now what do i do i really care about this person but what do i do let's have a look at further what happens right the world so you are leaving a situation you are a, ch a chapter of your life is coming to an end and you're moving forward in a new lease of life renewal a new chapter the world is about end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle so yes there is something ending and you might be feeling really sad and guilty maybe you really cared for someone but you're realizing that yes there it is it's all about the truth the king of swords shows that the truth okay this has two meaning i'll go with the first meaning and i'll talk about it. the first meaning of this king of sword is that this person that you this feminine energy doesn't have to be just female it's a feminine energy it could be any gender the point of the matter is this person could be of air energy like aquarius gemini libra that's number one they could have air energy in them or you could you could be dealing with someone that has air energy in them but the truth of the matter is the king of swords shows that the truth transcends delusion just like the dragonfly so the curtain is removed the curtain of delusion where you think oh no i can do this i love this person i want to be with them for the rest of my life but no it doesn't look like it it looks to me you're feeling guilty you want to be free you feel chained to this person you don't want to be chained to this person you want to be free and the king of swords shows to me that the truth is going to help you see clearly what you want out of life and follow it. And maybe in the process, you might be hurting somebody. And yes, that will happen. Maybe that's why you don't like to hurt people. So you are hurting deep inside. But I feel like you are releasing someone. That's for sure. You're releasing this person so that you can have your freedom. You're sick of, tired of being uh, perhaps chained to a, to a codependent relationship 
codependency, you know, people addicted, maybe addicted to something, addicted to sex, addicted to love, addicted to beauty, addicted to alcohol, addicted to drugs, addicted to too much work. It could be addiction to anything, but the fact of the matter is that because of the chain here, it shows to me uh, that you are guilty, also guilt. You're feeling guilty because you don't want to be chained in a relationship or in a situation. I feel like it's a relationship because here we've got girlfriend, spouse, there's a feminine energy very strong it could be someone of air energy it could be someone uh, with the letter a initials it could be somebody born on the fifth of the month or the 15th of the month these are the clues for you and they are air energy without a doubt aquarius gemini libra they have that in them let's have a look at four important factors we have the, the ace of cups this shows that you will have a new beginning that's going to give you emotional fulfillment in every area of your life that is beautiful good news let's see what else Wow, another ace. We have the ace of cups and then another ace. This is, could be also the greatest gift of all. The ace of cups can be a wonderful gift. The ace of pentacles is the beginning of prosperity. A new beginning that brings you prosperity. A new beginning that could bring you the greatest love. Or it can bring you the greatest gift of all where it gives you happiness all over from all the avenues, all areas of your life. And finally, your wish is going to be granted. Whatever your wish may be. Maybe it's free to be free. To be able not cha not to be chained to anyone, just to have freedom. That could be one of it. But your dreams and wishes are being completed and given to you. So one, two, three, one more. And finally, we have a new beginning. So this is destined. You are ending a chapter, starting a new chapter. There's renewal in your life. That's why we've got the Ace of Swords here also. Don't forget. So we've got the Ace of Cups, the Ace of pentacles and then we have the ace of swords getting exactly what you need with the boat and turning knowledge into power and coming to terms with the truth a new beginning that will heal you that will transform you a renewal a new lease of life uh, what's amazing about all this uh, my dear pisces what's shocking about this this is like univ the universe is imposing this uh, finally for you maybe to maybe it's your ultimate wish to be free but uh, without a, without a doubt there is freedom and what what's amazing is the the this is what's really shocking uh, we got three aces <laughs> one more incredible than the other and then we've got changes that are bringing on an ending look at that an ending to where you're at now and the new beginning comes that gives you the truth that you live with the truth and you'll have the victory ultimately to live the life you want to love lie uh, the the life that you want to live and be honest to yourself about it and remove delusion every change that's taking place now everything destiny is dic dictating all the moves and you can't be in control of nothing now everything is under the control of destiny to take you to the next level and the next level is a new beginning where you live with the truth of who you are and what you want and you will love this because everything in your reading that's what is showing the truth and living the truth and living the life that you truly want to live it's like you were not living it this is all because you are destined for a new life a new beginning no matter what I say, no matter what I think, it's all over the place. Repeating, renewal of life, a new lease of life, end of a cycle and a beginning of a new cycle that gives you freedom, elevation, ranking high, and living in the life you've always wanted. Absolutely in, he in heaven. Very happy. That's what it looks like to me. So now I'll take one, two, three, four. That's enough. That's finished. Now three more. That's three more from this deck and see, this is double and triple, letting us know that you are going to be free. You're feeling guilty, but you ultimately will be free and a new cycle begins of freedom. Let's have a look at three more. Four Pisces. Wow. The King of Pentacles here. An Earth Energy uh, showing that somebody of Earth Energy might be very supportive of you. Might be the next chapter that you might be working with this person. Or you could be dealing with someone of Earth, Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, um, at the end of the reading, my dear Pisces, don't forget, I'm going to go through the star signs and go through and see with the ruling planets to see who is the person that you are going to be dealing with, consumed with in March and a little bit April, and everything about them and what's, going ha what's happening. So we have an Earth energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person could be someone that you're working with or working towards or someone that is part of your love situation. This could be air energy with Earth within them. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Now, my dear 
Pisces. This has a another meaning. The King of Pent Pentacles is also about financial security, which is your um, which is the most important thing to you. That's why we've got the beginning of prosperity in this new chapter, in this new era, a new life. You are going to have financial freedom without a doubt. A lot of financial freedom. You are going to be doing well in you in this new uh, lifestyle. Now let's move on to the next level. The second one, it says the world. Oh my God, the world. This is end of a chapter of your life completely and utterly. And it shows the world twice. It means that you are going to be free. Moving forward, freedom. And reaching to levels of absolute elevation in life. Financial freedom also. And... The beginning of prosperity in every way. This is about prosperity, the highest level of prosperity. And, of course, uh, the world. Uh, the world twice, end of a chapter, and the beginning of a new chapter that brings you a lot of abundance, a lot of wealth and a lot of abundance. So, the beginning of prosperity, big time. Amazing. Okay. So, now we have established all this. We know all this. Uh, what else is there? Is there anything else? Yes, we might need one more. Okay, this was over here. And I need one more card. And we've got the Knight of Wands. You are taking action. You're about to take action, making a decision, and really acting on it. Taking action and moving forward very soon. You're taking action. You're doing something that you couldn't do before. You're probably doing it now. Let's have a look at the Butterfly Spirit and see what else. I'll get some more information, then I'll clarify these cards and understand, so we can deeply understand what this is all about for all Pisceans. And it looks like detoxification. Wow, you're detoxifying. This is about really releasing everything that you do not need from your body, taking care of your body first, whatever was wrong there, you're removing it. Whatever you were not happy with, you're removing it. Cleansing. Taking care of your body, taking care, and this is all there's the dragonfly. Have a look at the dragonfly in there. Do you see that? The dragonfly. That's this dragonfly here. This is, you know, <laughs> detoxification is not only detoxifying your body, your health, but detoxifying your life and removing delusion. Removing, you know, when delusion is when we lie to ourselves to make ourselves continue doing what we're doing. Uh, and something every now and then comes in our mind, our heart, it, it goes, it says to us like, you know, this is wrong. You shouldn't do this. This has to end. But then there's a part of you that you attach to someone so much that you find it hard to, to see life without them. But then there's that something inside you, your soul saying, you know, this is over. This is coming to an end. This is that kind of a situation to me. It looks like the dragonfly is constantly bringing on changing the uh, changes to detoxify your life, to remove people, objects, situations, that are harmful to you and they are not only harmful but they are um, they are not for the best of your good what you want what you desire how to live your life they can only be people that will make you feel guilty people that are codependent you will feel guilty that you might be doing the wrong thing by them like if it could be a relationship you could be cheating them and you don't want to cheat so you'll start feeling guilty and slowly that's where the the dragonfly the detoxification the aces are coming to show you you are destined for a new life alive but what with truth that's why we have these cards here with truth look at this that's what i'm trying to tell you truth it has to be truth you have to live with the truth know who you are and not to lie to yourself, be honest with who you are, what you want out of life, and truth is the only way to release you, to be honest with yourself, how you want to live and live that life. Otherwise, um, it's very hard, very hard to, to continue on. There'll be a lot of guilt and very unhappiness and the dark shadows and the dark uh, night of the soul, all of those things come to play when you are not honest with yourself and not living the life that you truly deserve to live. Okay, that you want. Now let's take two more important factors for all Pisceans. Okay, we've got one. Is that one? Oh no, there's two. All right. It shows an end of a chapter. Oh my God, two cards that show an end of a chapter. The swords, the two, two of swords. The coffin shows something is coming to an end. No matter what happens here, the truth, keep, keep at it. Just keep showing that something is ending. Now, in regard to the Two of Swords, it also shows this conflict. 
there's a lot of conflict. So whatever is ending, there's conflict in it. There could be also money conflict in some cases. You might be cutting through corners. But there is a breakthrough in regard to money and relationship both. The two of swords, the truth is going to transcend the situation and take it to the next level. There may be careers that you might consider in regard to do with law or order or, um, you know, defense, working to defend others, working, you know, in, in the defense itself. Uh, but some of you could be fired also. In some cases, the two of sword can be about getting fired and, and an injustice there at the same time. Now, the coffin is also another important factor. This is a could be a bad investment. So you've got to be very careful at this time and not invest anything. There could be financial challenges, but your savings are going to be uh, supporting you. Careers in office work, night shift, some jobs are ending. Again, you see here being fired, jobs ending. Sometimes this transition takes place to take you to a next level, uh, to take you to a level where you are going to be thinking and rethinking how to proceed and what to do. And maybe that's why this person might come into your life, uh, the king of pentacles, the king of coins, where there might be someone offering you a job or um, giving you uh, are propos proposing an idea that you might really uh, want to take advantage of. Let's have a look at what else you need to know. Oh, Pisces, we got one. Past time, uh, past life relationship with someone and have faith and trust in the situation. Everything happens for a reason. Whatever is happening around you, even if it might be a bit sad, it's happening for a reason. Um, there is someone that you've had past life relationship with and you're connecting with this person on a high level, a very romantic level. And it says the situation is calling for you to have faith, have faith in what's happening, why it's happening. It's happening for your highest good. That's very important. No matter how bad it may be, it's happening for your highest good. So let's have a look at the truth. It shows here, don't make decisions based on guilt. Here we go. This is what, maybe you're staying in a situation or a relationship because of guilt, but you're not really happy. Decisions based on guilt. Guilt. Chain to someone because feeling guilty. You want to break free from this person, but you're not able to. You're feeling guilty. Maybe you've had past connection with this person, past life connection, and you're finding it hard to, to leave them. They're wonderful. There's nothing wrong with them. It says, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself. What I was talking about, being true to yourself, that you can be true to others. You've got to be true to yourself. That way you'll be true to others. That's what I've been trying to get across to you being true to who you are, being true to others. And then there won't be this guilt. Guilt will disappear, will diminish. You might be, you know, uh, that's why we're talking about this. That's why I keep talking about the dragonfly. So you won't feel guilty. The truth that's transcending you to high levels. The king of swords showing you the truth. You have to be true to yourself. You have to be true to the person that you're with. Truth um, and guilt. So to avoid guilt, you've got to be truthful. Especially if you are dealing with someone that's got air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, you've got to be truthful with them because they are true to you. They are honest. They are direct and to the point. And even if you're dealing with someone of earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, they too are true and direct and to the point. And you yourself, my dear Pisces, are always true and direct to the point. The only reason maybe you're feeling guilty because maybe something inside you is changing there's a process of you leaving a lifestyle and a chapter and moving to a new chapter. And you're feeling guilty because you're thinking, what am I doing? Why is this happening? But then ultimately you will know it's all happening because it's part of your destiny. It's all destined to take place. So the guilt is there to wake you up, to make you understand what the next course of action is and how to proceed and what to do and how to prepare for a new life, a new life where there won't be guilt. Wow, this is very deep. So the universe is detoxifying you and removing everything. That is incredible. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to do is clarify everything. Let's have a look. Let's start with the first thing here. And that is the King of Pentacles. Let's see who the King of Pentacles is. Oh, 
it's an end of a, a chapter. It could be an end of a relationship, actually, because we have the Ten of Wands, which is the end of something suffocating, a situation or a relationship that became very suffocating, too many problems, too many truths, too many questions, too many things unseen, and, and like, you know, too many problems. It's coming to an absolute end with this person, perhaps this uh, earth energy. Now, this could be a person that is earth and air, cuspy. This person could be a cuspy. They could be Capricorn Aquarius. Very, very easy. They can be a Capricorn Aquarius. Um, this could be someone that you've had a karmic situation with and you're, in talk, you're sort of, um, what's the word, suffocating. You can't handle it anymore. This could be someone that is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn and have a, a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra in them, air and earth mi mixed. So let's have a look further to see um, in regard to the Ace of Cups, your wishes. Your wishes are going to be granted, and that's what's going to make um, make you understand. This is uh, in regard to the Ace of Cups. So when I'm asking about the Ace of Cups, it shows your wishes are going to be granted, but there is a situation where you need to act quickly, take advantage of an opportunity, and resolve a problem at the same time, like two birds with one stone kind of a situation when your wish is being granted. Remember that. This new beginning is going to bring you abundance of wishes and dreams come true. So that's beautiful to know. But you need to act very quickly in regard to the situation. Again, in regard to... Oh my God, look at this. There's the fire. In regard to someone of air energy. There it is again. We've got the king and the queen. Air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You're dealing with someone air energy very strong now, I know, without a doubt. And there is great affection between you and this person. But I feel like there is going to be a new beginning. Let's have a look at the world. Oops, and the world. Look at that. The devil came up. Okay, the devil. I'll just take uh, two more for the for the for the world, and we got chariot. Okay, there may be a situation uh, calling for you uh, to consider maybe some sort of commitment, something being exclusive to a situation, being committed to something. There is a commitment, but there's also uh, very controlling situations here. Somebody very controlling, situation controlling, and you're not happy. You feel like there's too much of something, too much control, too much, uh, you know, you, maybe I feel like, again, there's the chain here showing that you don't want to be uh, bound by someone, bound in a relationship or bound like, you know, like, uh, and you don't want control. And I feel ultimately uh, this could be a very major obstacle that you will overcome and you are going to be victorious. You'll overcome this and become victorious. And maybe perhaps that's when you are leaving a situation, leaving it behind and moving forward. Now, let's have a look at the King of Swords. Okay. Now, we've got the Emperor. Let's have a look at the truth. The King of Swords. Okay. It shows to me this person is uh, someone that has fire energy in them, perhaps. Or somebody new is entering your life, fire energy. Yeah, fire energy. There's someone here, fire energy, that um, that is that you're putting your foot down and saying enough is enough. I can't handle this anymore. Uh, this person um, might have fire energy in them. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. We're talking Aries here. It could be yourself. You might have Aries. You could be a Pisces that is cuspy. You have Aries in you. I feel like you are putting your foot down and you want to sort of uh, be truthful with this person that you you will not take this. You're fighting for what you believe in. You're fighting for some sort of freedom and space, maybe. I also feel like you want to be in control of your life and your journey and not be told what the best course of action is. And there could be someone new entering your life. But there is a fighting for your rights here. Wow. Let's have a look at the Nine of Cups. Very interesting. I'll just take this for a moment. That's why you're taking action. You're putting your foot down and, and you don't want anyone to tell you what to do. Already you're feeling chained. Let's have a look at the Nine of Cups. Your wish come true. It says a little bit of patience and you'll be able to move. You're moving forward. Um, I feel like you might be moving away, leaving someone behind. And this person is Earth Energy. Yeah, you are leaving. Earth Energy, we were talking about this person, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's a lot of Earth in them. You're leaving them behind and you're taking action. And um, the reason I'm saying that is because I'm seeing finally the, the Knight of Wands twice. It shows that you are finally taking action. You're just waiting for a little bit to do it gently. Uh, you want stability in your life and you want um, 
a part of you wants stability and another part of you wants to take action and and um, move forward in your life you're not happy you're not happy because there are too many restrictions I feel too many control issues with this earth energy finally you're taking action and you're moving forward that's amazing okay let's have a look at there is a younger person a uh, Sagittarius Aquarius um, there is a fire energy here that that you are sort of uh this is a really interesting combination because you could be dealing with someone that you truly adore like a soulmate fire sagittarius aries leo um and air aquarius gemini libra and virgo taurus capricorn these are all the combination of someone that you truly value and really like have got uh, an amazing life with you might be someone from your past uh, life that you connect with but you feel like they're maybe too controlling the situations are calling for you to you, you want to withdraw you want to you want to be in control of your journey your life it's like you were deluding yourself and thinking you can do this but you can't really do that there's a lot of guilt you want to live a life of freedom uh, okay let's have a look at the world here let's see what the world is all about for all Pisceans Yes, I feel like there is the end of a battle. You were torn whether you should or do this or not. There's going to be an answer and you are going to be released. Finally, the end of a big battle comes to an absolute end and you're resting. And that's when you're starting fresh, a new, new life, a new perspective. Even though there is a lot of sadness uh, here, you are feeling emotionally sad because you're losing someone but it's happening because you are destined for a new life that's what all the aces are all about a new beginning let's have a look at the ace of pentacles yes the past leaving the past behind and moving you want to elevate to higher levels in your life you want freedom there is victory there's freedom there's money coming there's a lot of freedom you don't want to be tied down at any cost that's why you're leaving leaving the past behind you even though it's it gave you great it'll give you great memories you will be hurting when you leave this but it's part of your wish to be free even at the cost of uh, losing someone even at the cost of uh, it's your wish that's giving you the freedom that you want to live um, and you will be grieving the loss of this person you will grieve the loss of this person big time because this person it was part of your maybe part of your soulmate you've you've had lives together there was so much connection that was, you had they had everything you always wanted losing this person even though it's an end of a battle it became really um very painful between you and this person a lot of pain a lot of words a lot of communications that's what this is the truth and communication the swords but ultimately you're realizing that no matter how much you grieve the loss of this person grieving the loss of this person but you have no choice you've reached to the ends you can't handle anymore and you are destined for renewal so that's what it is you, that's exactly what it is you are destined for all this uh all these new beginnings and and there's nothing that can be in the ace of swords with it with a lot of truth so there is nothing that you can do it's practically out of your hands you're just being realistic and being truthful that's all that's happening with the dragonfly letting you uh, detoxify and know the truth of who you are being truthful to yourself first you will be able to be truthful with others and release them so that you don't so that you don't feel guilty all the time so that you can live the life you want to live wow this is so deep so deep uh, my dear Pisces now let's have a look at what are the star sign combination of the person you'll be immersed with, you know, conversing with, consumed with, dealing with on a high level in March and April. So we've got Capricorn. That's the Earth energy, perhaps, or one of the... Uh, let me just concentrate. Pisces, dealing with... We've got Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. Oh, my God, Gemini, Virgo. Remember I said Earth and Air? Gemini, Virgo. They could have fire in them, too. Gemini... Virgo. Why I say Gemini, Virgo, Mercury is the ruler of Gemini and Virgo. So someone who's got Virgo and Gemini. Okay, let's see. We need three more to exactly calculate. And if we get more, that means they're two people. So three. Okay, we've got another one. Mars, Aries. That's the Aries I was talking about. The fire energy here. Okay, let's have a look. Two more. And then we've got Saturn, the ruler of Capricorn. Double Capricorn. Oh my goodness. And the truth. 
and then we've got Pluto Scorpio mm, very interesting so my dear Pisces you are dealing with someone very strong Capricorn remember I said there's Capricorn Aquarius Caspi so we've got a uh, Capricorn here very strong because Saturn is the rule of Capricorn so this has been the person the earth energy now there and there is also Virgo so this person's got also a strong earth energy and they've got air which is the Virgo Mercury the rule of Virgo and the rule of Gemini this is a person one person that is Virgo Gemini they're Virgo Gemini they might have a uh, Gemini they might have fire in them too it's possible they could have in them Aries uh, Sagittarius or Leo it is possible but this is what they are like this is their main personality Virgo Gemini and it looks to me like it wasn't easy to let go of this person the only thing that you would have had problems with the Gemini is the com uh, communication. They're very honest, direct, and truthful, and that might be hurting, especially if you're feeling guilty and not being honest with yourself. Earth energy here, very strong, very strong. And then you've got fire and water. Fire being uh, Aries. You could be, this person might have also Aries in them. You could have Aries in you, but I feel like you're dealing with someone, and then there's other people that you might be. The, the strongest one I'm seeing here is earth energy with uh, Gemini. Um, there could be Scorpio also here. There could be Scorpio or uh, Aries. Scorpio, Aries are also there. There could this could be two people possibly that you might be dealing with. One that has uh, Scorpio and um, Aries together, fire and water, and they could also have a Capricorn. Capricorn is united, and the strongest one here. The strongest is Capricorn, and another one, the strongest, is. Um, Gemini Virgo so it looks to me like yes you had groundness with this person you'll be dealing with these people on a very high level and these could be just family that might be helping you through this process or friends it could be a work situation somebody offering you a job or something uh, we're talking Aries here uh, and Pluto ultimately you need to know my dear Pisces that you are going to have control over your life and you will uh, fight for what you believe in and you are going to let go of someone. I do feel like there could be a concern about this person, the fire energy, uh, somebody you're worried about or somebody that's coming in your life that's going to be spectacular fire energy. Uh, we don't have, uh, it could be Aries, that's what we're seeing here. Aries could be the one that's coming into your life. Uh, this new person that I said that is coming in your life and you're going to have an amazing connection with, this could be Aries. Uh, maybe Aries with Scorpio makes them very hot, very passionate, and you will connect on that because the, you need the fire. The fire keeps you the warmth. But I feel like it's bigger than that. It isn't that you don't have that with this person currently. You've got everything in this person. I just feel like um, there's too much battling. There's too much control. There's It's reached to an impasse. You've overwhelmed. You're suffocating from this situation you just there, it's just been too much it's reached a level where you're not even though maybe you might be wonderful together um in love and affection and sex but sexually intimacy might be spectacular but um there's unhappiness and i feel like this is the person that you might be unhappy with even though this is one of your soulmates uh, or it is possible that you could be meeting also this is another possibility don't forget there's millions of pisces with different um, you know, dates of birth. Uh, we've got Capricorn here very strong. That could be Capricorn with Scorpio, someone new coming on. But I feel like it could be Capricorn with fire. Now, if Capricorn comes with Aries or Aries, we've got Mars, the rule of Aries. Uh, and this could, this is the fire energy. If you meet someone that's earth and fire, you are going to be head over heels with this person because there's a lot of passion and a lot of stability. This is someone really that you could, you know, go with a long term um where with the other person because they've got air energy the air um gemini uh, virgo the air energy doesn't go quite well with the pisces they might have cancer or pisces in them and that gives you the water that's made it long term but it's reached to suffocation and it's reached to a level where you can't handle anymore that um ultimately uh, once the blindfold is removed and you are not deluding yourself, you're honest with yourself. Once you become honest with yourself, then you'll be honest with this person and you'll let them go because you want to live a separate or a different kind of life and you're tired of control. And that's what the devil was all about. That is the end of your reading. I'm sorry it was a little bit uh, chaotic, but remember, you are going to live a life of wonders. You've got two 
you've got so many great new beginnings that are coming you've got the world you've got passion again coming with someone that you've had past lives with possibly and getting all your wishes you have two cards of the wishes that came in your reading that gives you all your wishes this new beginning is going to bring you abundance of wealth happiness joy and freedom of being who you are not to mention a lot of love maybe not one love but there's a lot of possibilities of you know there's someone wonderful and then it's like you want your freedom i don't see you wanting to be chained to a one relationship or marriage i just don't see that for many the majority but of course for those of you who are in those years where you are going to be connected to someone you haven't been in a relationship it's going to be the first one you are going to be with your past life relationship and you are going to love it but for those of you who have left the relationship you just want a little bit of freedom and not to be codependent or chained in a relationship you don't want commitment you just want to free yourself from commitment and that is the end of your reading oh my god how deep was that but love is coming have a look at your love reading where it tells you everything about love who's coming and and what is happening i hope you enjoyed this reading my dear viewers do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think and don't forget to watch the video to the end in support of me and subscribe to the channel in support of me it's absolutely free i wish you abundance of blessings and a lot of love and light namaste